So it's 2023, we're in Loser, first team camp of the year, doing biking things. You know, right now, unfortunately, we're missing Reese, but the three guys we got here, Loris, Bodie, and Cade. We have now a new junior. Bodie Kuhn, 17, from Roslyn, British Columbia, Canada. So excited. It's always been a dream of mine. I've been riding for Trek for a number of years now, and last year, that was, you know, that was one of my biggest goals, was to bank it onto this team, and now that I'm here, I'm, I'm really excited to be working with all the awesome people. Mellow, cool. Bodie is a little tank, wild on the bike. Yeah, pinned gets loose. Mr. Producer, push it up. I genuinely, I'm somehow okay. My fingers hurt a little, but like, I just sprained them. Kind of reminds me of me a little bit, just like, nice to get a bit loose. I started the year more privateer, and then throughout the year, as there was injuries on the team, track helped me up a lot, and started working pretty closely with me and gave me a mechanic and that made a really big difference. Charlie got hurt at Fort William. He was gonna come back to racing and then it was gonna, I would have been back on my own or like a, like less support because there would have been one less mechanic. But he got hurt again and he was out for the rest of the season. And then at that point, my results were, they were getting quite a bit better and there was space on it so you know, by closer to like Mont Anne and then like World Championships, it wasn't that much different than it is now. Like eating dinners with the team, they were working like on the bikes with me, they were, we were on the track, you know, all the stuff that we're doing now. Like it still felt like, okay, you know, not really on the team. We don't go to the team camps and stuff together. Like now having that this year, like we're all in the matching kits. It was like, okay, this is, this is pretty cool that I'm here with all of my heroes, but I'm part of it, right? I'm part of the team. It's so nice to have people that you can build off that are the fastest, best bikers in the world, right? And it's an extremely useful tool and they just happen to be really nice guys at the same time. For me, like growing up in Roslyn, you, if you don't ski and you bike, I don't know what else you really do. So growing up and a lot of my sister's friends are professional athletes now. And for me, ever since I started racing, I, I, that was always my goal. I, like. More than a goal, I was always just, that's what I wanted to do, that's what I was gonna do. I knew at some point in my life I was always gonna be a professional mountain biker. There's things I'm, I wanna do after biking, like rocket engineering. Big rockets guy, uh, I think, besides biking, I think that's the other half of my personality to most people. Yeah, having a junior might help bring a, a new youth also to the team, and I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, he knows stuff but we can help him know a little bit more with the bike and how to set it up and how to ride but so far he's been just chill and really fast he's really really fast loris is very dedicated amazing racer he understands the ins and out of the weekend just as good as anybody and he's a really really good person to look up to and um, learn from a few weeks back a kind of crash like a weird crash also and broke a, my collarbone yeah, we. I'm here. Uh, I can ride slow. I don't usually come with no expectation from testing. I usually have to. It's like a job a little bit. Like you want to improve everything, and now it's just like feeling comfortable, getting to know everything, and just having fun because I can't really ride hard, and it's fun. I'm loving it, and yeah, the process of trying things and. Just feeling comfortable is less stressing, so so far so good. And yeah, went back to back with what I'm used to to the new tires. And it, there is definitely some pretty insane improvement on some section. Really positive, to be honest. So this is really our first test with uh, our new tire partner, Pirelli. We have a uh, one of the R&D engineers here, and then marketing team manager. We got a lot of work to do but I'm very, very confident that we uh, will be able to get there with them. He's 
started the season with like highs and lows. Confident I could be up there and then even if I did mistakes, I was like, I had to pay, so I'm like, it will happen this season. And then at one point I was like, oh, it might not happen. Like I don't know if I have it in me. I don't really feel comfortable anymore. Like something changed. It's actually really hard. And I was getting a, mm, ah, it's, it's tough. Going to Andorra, we prepared the race pretty well. Like I knew where I was going and the track was fast and I like when it goes fast. Relieving, happiness, I was back on track and I was like, okay, now we can move on, like I've done it, let's end the, the season well. Everything went again like south, like I crashed and had some injuries and first time I miss a World Cup in ever. Like I've never missed a World Cup since I'm junior. Valdisol was a special one for me. I was stoked to get it in the bag and finish the season well, because I normally ever do. So I was happy. 2023, we need to start over. <laughs> the young guns are coming, they are like just all fired up and you get there with experience and knowing what to do and how to win, but always changing because new guys are coming and they're pushing the spot. So we'll see, hopefully we get ready in time and so far, we're having fun on the bike, so it's positive. Cade is the sun. He has like the most energy possible and constant. And he can, I'm the opposite. So I'm like, it's, I'm the moon. I'm like, Ugh. lazy. And I see him doing all the time he can't stop doing anything like he is always doing like a jump a trick or it makes you want to ride your bike doing party trains and you'll hear them we're just always having a good time together oh my god that was so f You good? Yeah. Is that right? That. <laughs> People might think like, why are you 
bother it with racing because you could be just like off the right in. So why is I often ask myself the same question. I mean, the, the, it's a different kind of thing. The racing feels like work and you can really get stuck in and it's fun in its own ways. And the free riding is just a way of expressing yourself. You, you're, you're set free, you do what you want. Like, racing is kind of like going to the office for me, in a good way. Like, putting my head to do something. I've always done tr like BMX tricks, bar spins, tail whips, and it's just always been the thing, the racing is like something to chip away at, isn't it? Like when I was a kid, I used to take it really seriously. Like I'd train every day, like I'd literally be in the gym or riding on my own, doing like 20 miles a night, like really excessive. I think I fell out with like training and stuff, but I still kept my speed. And the reason I still race now is it's, I obviously enjoy racing, but I have good speed. It's a shame, it would be a shame to waste it. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm not going to try and venture into different paths. In the, in the future, but for now, it's it's going all right. What do you think you'd be doing if you weren't riding bikes? Truthful answer? <laughs> um, probably not up to any good. Come from a pretty sketchy place. Sketchy friends. Probably, yeah. If I wasn't riding bikes, probably a pretty sketchy place. They definitely saved me. I mean, at school, I'd like just hung around with shitty people. I mean, I, ne I didn't come from a bad family. My family was not poor or anything. I mean, we're not rich, we're not. I mean, I could afford to get a, a push bike once every three years or something, you know, it's, or a BMX. So definitely not poor, but it's just like the people you, you're around and stuff like that. You can get into, um, like some of my friends are amazing, but you can definitely get caught up in the wrong crew. And yeah, no, no. <laughs> I just don't know where I'd be, but the Vikings definitely saved me. It's like a release, like if you didn't do that, you probably, like I said, probably gonna do some bad stuff. Like you need it to keep sane and, well, I know we do. Like people complain about skate parks. Oh, it's noisy, the skate parks, like they click clack the skateboards. It's like that dude might make a living from that. And he's probably not gonna go and sell drugs or even just be a nuisance to someone, you know? He's gonna then find a meaning in life. It's, it, I, I find it when I'm just like, in the woods and I like sit down, have a sandwich, you know what I mean, just chilling, have a sandwich and you'd be like looking, it's like, this is amazing. Like, I'm not in an office, I'm not, not looking at this computer screen, I'm out in the wild and getting paid to do this. And it's, yeah, you can't beat it. No, you can't stop me. No, you can't stop me. No, you can't stop me. What are we doing now, buddy? Where are we going? Uh, I think we're going go-karting. Are you going to win? Probably not. My weight is going to probably slow me down. This little guy's probably going to win. Huh? Buddy is nervous. Buddy is nervous. I just took the clear out, mate. Buddy, are you all right, you're man? You're going to get, dude, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to I'm get just going to go do trap. Oh, no, you're prepared. Number one, baby. Which, uh, which car is the fastest? Seven. Seven's the fastest. That's mine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what's another fast one? Like a second fast? Three. Three. Yeah. We've got the So we're out here, Taruka. Oh, there's some honey sugar here. Oh, it's good, boys. It's good? Good. Great, thank you. He's ready for a bike race.
You can ski down. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you honestly can't ride a bike. Though. No. There you go. Get up in. Oh, yeah. oh. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> can you please sing my bike? Yeah. There you go, buddy. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good time. <laughs> We've actually been Thank like you. hella productive today. It started off looking real bad, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, no, she's snowy. Is she? Oh yeah, she's... Yeah, no, nah, she's proper <laughs> Oh, but she's Looks fun, huh? No, Buddy's ill, so it's just me. Me left. Yeah, we should be okay. Let's go and rip some bikes, eh? Dropping. Big ice cream. Yeah, he needs oh, to melt a little bit. He said, and then we Jesus. Ice so he's got a he's got to torque that down. His race run Thank is in thirty minutes. Thank you very much for the. Oh, I caught guts. Let's go. Let's go. Fun. Track was sick, good week of riding and perfect way to spend my birthday on my bike, racing bikes, love it. Peace out from uh, Taruka, we'll, um, we'll catch you next time.